This impossible SAT question ruins perfect scores. What's angle C, A, B? What even is this? It kind of looks like a Z. O okay, focus, time's ticking. So we want to find this angle right here, A. Hmm, if we just draw a line from C to B, it looks like a right angle. So A is 90, but wait, that's not an answer. And two, we can't just assume it's a right angle because it looks like one. Okay, look at the question again. It says AB is parallel to ED. Parallel lines. Whenever the SAT throws that in, we're usually dealing with transversals. But there's no line cutting through these parallel lines for it to be a transversal. So what if we just made our own? Well, look, draw a line across from C. This line is parallel to ED which means it's also parallel to AB. And you know what that means? Well, we've got a transversal, but what the f did we do with that? Well, when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, alternate interior angles are equal. So if D is 33, then C must also be 33. And if this whole thing is 118 degrees, then this angle right here must be 118 minus 33, so 85 degrees. Okay, now focus on these two lines. Parallel lines cut by a transversal also create supplementary angles on the same side, aka these must add up to 180 degrees. So 85 plus whatever this angle is equals 180. Subtract the 85, so this angle must be 95. B. Want more SAT hacks? Comment 1600 down below.